I'd like to call on nuclear abolitionist Stephen Cobesa to come up and talk a little more about the Kings Bay Plowshares and the Amistad Food Pantry. Steve Cabeza. Many Shakespearean plays have an epilogue in which one is reassured that all will be well, no matter what tragedies have occurred previously. I'm not sure I can do that. I can uh, assure you that um, the resistance is still well, and that that's what matters, I think, to most of us. Um, I sometimes think to myself, the basic principle is, even though it's futile, it's necessary, and we have to do this. And not because it's, and I don't mean futile in the sense that, you know, the, 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 our capitalist world measures success. Uh, I mean, I suppose it's futile in that sense, but uh, we are, are driven by other values, purposes. And, and the Kings Bay Plowshares, I think, are a sign that we simply refuse to accept the world in which this happens. And it's happening right now. I mean, I appreciate uh, Frida, the doomsday clock, but of course there are other clocks ticking all the time. The Trident missile submarines right now are operating, at least eight, perhaps ten of them, and in a matter of seconds, seconds, they could be functioning as they are terribly designed to do to essentially bring a, uh, an end to all creation. And they're there every day of our lives, every moment. Never stops. One goes out, another comes in, over and over and over again. So, you know, that reality we live with, as, as Rhea was describing, is one that you simply, to keep your own sanity, to keep your own moral character, simply cannot Except, So, an action like that at the Kings Bay Plowshares, uh, seven people, each remarkable in his and her own way, um, is a reminder to us of our need to refuse. And um, an invitation to each in our own ways um, say no to that um, desperate uh, exercise of power that the Trident is. So um, I have some material over there uh, about uh, the action, about what you might do in various ways uh, to help, um, to write to, the, to the, those in prison, to support those who are uh, now out, to uh, organize uh, various showings of films, talks, all the information here. I don't have to repeat it. Um, uh, there are also petitions to sign, which calls for the dropping of the charges. Um, and uh, to simply recognize that their witness is not simply the moment they entered that base. Their witness continues through the incarceration, through the trial, whenever it happens. And the fact that they're now nearly a year in jail without the announcement of a trial date is another, it's like Alice in Wonderland. First the punishment, then the trial, you know, and that's the way the casual cruelty of the system on a daily basis, denying them, you know, just sort of basic things, basic pleasures. Um, and the power of their witness, I think, is, is for us, uh, it's not a chastisement, it's an invitation. Uh, there are many forms of resistance. And I know a number of people here work in, for example, in healthcare, and you know those for public, for communities, those are acts of resistance. We all try in our way to make those gestures real. So I'm simply here. I'm glad to answer questions later. Um, if you'd like to sign the petition, if you'd like to take have a picture of yourself taken, being in support of the Kings Bay Plowshares, I'll be glad to do that my limited photographical gifts, usually comes out well. Um, and um, 
something to remember that that reality uh, they confront, the reality of the Trident submarine, whatever the system says, the Trident is not the final word. It never will be. Thank you. Oh, I think people have already collected it. There are things for Amistad worker for the uh, food pantry there. I saw that there were bags out in front. So I'll be glad to make sure those are transported. There's Do they accept a, money, too? I think you could force them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have. I actually have, I think, some delivered to me in my pocket, you know. Catholic workers uh, avow a simple life, but they're not silly about this. There are things to be done, and uh, uh, monetary donations are always welcome. And just to visit there, you know, I mean, I, to realize that that is in our community, Luce Colville, Mark's wife, uh, her, their children, are all participants in the action. Think about families, I mean, with uh, Frida, you know, when someone does an action like that, if you're a member of a family, you don't act alone. You don't act alone. Um, and um, I remember having that lesson, you're talking about tears, I remember having that lesson in a way, I think it was uh, 1992, um, you know, that the, the first nuclear submarine ever built is docked up here in Groton, permanently docked. And um, a group of us decided that we were going to go on board that submarine on the anniversary of the Hiroshima bombing because there was a link between what happened at Hiroshima and this weapon. Museums are dangerous places for children, you know, because the horrors are made exciting, you know. So we decided to go, to go on board. We had a great banner that we were going to unfurl on the fantail. And the problem was how you, how you get it in, because it's very large. So at the time, and my wife uh, and our, uh, now our, our first daughter, Claire, came along. So we looked like an interested you know, family who came out for a Sunday outing. And we tucked the banner behind the stroller. And so we trucked out to the <coughs> pier. And then the other people who were part of the action, we all swooped the banner out and ran up on the fantail, the rear of the sub, and unfurled it before they even know what was happening. It was quite splendid. Until we were arrested and taken out. And Claire, who at that time was three years old, reached out for me and couldn't come and broke down in tears. And that was something I had never thought would be a consequence of my action. You know, that there was just that moment, a child, feeling that loss, but, you know, a price to pay, and I wasn't paying it. It was a very salutary reminder to think about families who have faced this in ways that Frida described so movingly, uh, the reality of those powerful witnesses. Thank you.